So spring has been a huge part of our journey since right after we founded. Uh, we won their Impact Investor Challenge, which um, came with a $100,000 investment that kicked off our pre-seed raise. Uh, spring helped us raise our second round as well, and they've supported us in all kinds of ways with mentorship, with connections. Well, the key program that I've been involved in is uh, the Spring Impact Investor Challenge. That was a multi-week program that got us investor ready and helped um, support investors in understanding how to invest in impact companies. I would definitely recommend that. Um, you know, presenting to investors, making those connections is a very important part of growing a startup and the Spring program is really exceptional for that. Our technology can be used for a broad range of data collection. So for example, we've been working in illegal fishing enforcement for four years now, monitoring MPAs to um, prevent illegal activity to better understand our oceans. And this is critical if we want to support ocean health. For example, uh, globally we've made a commitment to pre preserve 30% of our oceans by 2030, but without monitoring that is largely meaningless. Um, we're also very active in environmental monitoring. Uh, we do a lot of marine mammal monitoring, so better helping to understand endangered uh, marine mammal population like the southern resident killer whales on this coast. But our vessels have a broad range of applications. I love so many things about my job. I love my team. Uh, my team is so committed and smart and driven. I love this industry. I love that people really care about making a difference. We're all in this, in the marine technology industry, because we want the oceans to be healthier, to be safer. We want to grow sustainable uh, ocean technologies. So I think it is a very purpose-driven uh, industry, and I love that. Well, I've only always been a female CEO, so I don't know what challenges are specific to my gender. I would say that in this ecosystem, females are still underrepresented, especially when we look at you know, robotics, the, the ocean ecosystem. Uh, so I'd like to see more women entrepreneurs. Um, you know, women still historically raise less money from, from venture capital than, uh, than men do. And so initiatives that support uh, more diversity in founders are very important. I think one of the things that's great about Spring is they have a, a diversity in founders. So there's a lot of other female CEOs that were in that program with me. They have female investors, female entrepreneurs that are mentors. So seeing that diversity of people in leadership positions is very inspiring. So if we hadn't participated in Spring's Investor Challenge, we wouldn't have raised our first round when we did. It would have taken a lot longer. Um, I don't know if we would have had the same skills for pitching to investors. So we definitely would not be so far ahead in our journey. And you know, we've come a long way in five years. Um, you know, our team has grown to 30. We're deployed in three oceans around the world. We're in the middle of our Series A round right now. Um, we have some of the most uh, sophisticated customers in the world saying our boats are great. I think if I was going to use one word to describe Spring, I would say impactful. And I mean that in a number of ways. The impact that they have had on our company, and we would not be here if it wasn't for them. The impact they have on the environment, and the impact they have on community, and the impact they have on the other entrepreneurs and creating an ecosystem. So they definitely do a good job on impact.